Alrighty, today I'm coming to you from Derby in Tasmania and I'm actually going to be painting something that I was inspired by today while we were out on a few little walks in the rainforest and we're going to be painting some beautiful fern leaves. So I'm using a, or I better check, a size 4 round brush and I'm grabbing some brown paint onto my brush, lovely and diluted, so adding a little bit more brown and I'm going to paint a long, thin, curved line and it's absolutely fine if it's broken and it's getting smaller towards the top. And then I'll rinse off my brush. I'm going to grab some lovely cool green that I've already mixed. Now if you can hear any sounds that maybe aren't normally in my videos like the fire crackling, uh, birds tweeting, Will turning pages in his book, or maybe even a truck driving past that's because we're not in our usual filming spot but in a lovely beautiful cabin um, and so yeah there might be a few sounds that you're not quite used to all right so i've got my lovely paint on my brush i just had to activate it while we were talking um, just by adding a bit more water so i'm grabbing the paint on my brush and i'm going to do some single brush strokes so the first one is coming off the end of the stem so this will be our fern stem and then I'm going to work my way down the fern, creating these lovely single brush stroke leaves. And they're going to be in pairs coming off the stem. And they're definitely going to be like really uneven and not necessarily symmetrical. I mean, yes, I'm working in pairs, but they're going to be like some are going to be longer, some might have like a curve at the tip and that kind of thing because. If you've seen a fern leaf, you'll know that no um, two leaves are the same and all that good stuff. So I'm actually working in quite a messy way and that's absolutely fine. And these leaves are going to get bigger as I work my way down the stem. I'm not sure if I just said that or not. And I'm sort of working with the shape of the stem and also how much room I have on my page. I never tend to give myself quite enough space. to keep it in place because oops it's taking up too much space and I've actually smudged my painting a little bit which is absolutely fine it doesn't matter at all a little bit of mess is always encouraged so it's fine if you smudge your paint with your hand or something like that so I'm going to keep going with these leaves some of them are more diluted than others, meaning that there's more paint and pigment in some of them than others. You'll see that some of these leaves are crisscrossing in front and behind each other. And that's because I'm going with the flow a lot <laughs> to the extent that I'm sometimes running out of space and needing to overlap the leaves a little. Now as I get towards the bottom of my fern, I'm actually doing some of these leaves with two brush strokes just to make them even wider. But you'll see that I'm working with just the tip of the brush, the belly of the brush and the tip of the brush again to create an awesome point on my leaves. Just adding in a little bit more paint to thicken that up. Not quite going to plan but that's okay. And I'm not overworking my paint too much either. And as I'm getting to the bottom of my stem, 
adding in a couple more of these really thick leaves with two brush strokes. And we're almost finished. There you have a lovely, beautiful fern leaf. So whimsical and gorgeous. Mm -hmm.